the Lord has given us to celebrate the 40th anniversary to priesthood of His Lordship Sabino Ochan Odoki, the Bishop of the Diocese of Arua. We want to welcome all of you who have come to joyously celebrate this day with us in this diocese. Allow me to take this opportunity, being unworthy, to invite the one who is the right person, none other than Monsignor Castor Aditi, in his twin capacity as the parish priest of Ediofe Cathedral Parish, but also as the Vicar General to welcome the congregation into this Mass, after which he will come, he will welcome the Apostolic Nuncio to read the papal message, after which he will invite His Lordship Sabino Ochan Odoki, who is our main celebrant, to lead us in the sacrifice of Calvary. Monsignor, you are most welcome. On this occasion, when we are celebrating the 40th priestly anniversary of Right Reverend Sabino Chan Odaki, Bishop Ordinary of Arua Diocese, I would like to welcome the Papal Nuncio to Uganda and welcome the graces here present and all the bishops for this memorable occasion. And welcome all of you for this day. amongst us here he has a, a message for us and now I would like to humbly invite him to deliver that message. Let us welcome him. Yes, Apostle Nuncio to Uganda, representative of His Holiness Pope Francis, it is my honor and pleasure to greet all the present today in this special occasion, the celebration of the 40th priestly anniversary of the Bishop Arua, His Lordship Sabino Chan Odoki, and of a priest from the Archdiocese of Gulu, Reverend Father Matthew Okun Lagoru, Reverend Father Matthew Oyara, Reverend Father Vincent Oyok Adok. To all of you, I have the pleasure to transmit the apostolic blessing of His Holiness Pope Francis as a pledge of abundant divine graces. In a special way, I transmit the apostolic blessing to Bishop Sabino Chan Odoki and the other priests who celebrate the anniversary. To all of you, I am happy to be again in the Diocese of Arua and to pray with you and for you in this Holy Mass to invoke abundant graces and to continue our journey in faith, charity and hope. And now I give also the document of the blessing to the bishop 
and the other priests. of his blessing by the Pope. We thank the Pope for that. One year in the house of the Lord is like a thousand years elsewhere. These are 40 years in the house of the Lord. We thank his holiness, the Pope, for his blessing. Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Honorable Betty Amongi Akena, who is here immediately us with the people. And uh, His Grace is here amidst us to present. I think it is important that I read what is written in what is presenting. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, fondly imparts his apostolic blessing upon Reverend, Reverend, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, Roran Sabino Ochan Odoki, Bishop of the Diocese of Arua, as a pledge of abundant divine graces on the occasion of his. To 10th September 20. 23. I take this opportunity to, the, to congratulate also Monsignor Matthew Ojara with whom they were ordained together and it is the same message I've read. Rev, same message to Reverend Father Vincent Ojok Adot. And that is what the Archbishop is showing us. And then we have he is, he is not the one, he is, he is his grace. This was the Reverend Father, like Father Pichot is. And lastly, we have Reverend Father Matthew Ocon Lagoro, who taught me logic in the National Major Seminary. Congratulations. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Monsignor. Thank you, my brother, priest, for the 40 years you have served the Lord in his house. May I invite now Monsignor Castro to continue with his duty. I take this opportunity now to invite Right Reverend Sabino Chano Doki to lead us into this holy mass. Let us stand up. Where is the book? The book. Deacons. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves 
to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us.
We shall remain standing after the main celebrant has taken the prayer leading to the word of God. We shall have a gospel procession bringing the word of God to the altar. Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that I preside over your family, not by any merit of mine but out of the abundance of your untold grace alone grant that I may carry out worthily the ministry of the priestly office and under your governance who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. God, we join clapping our hands. Lord of God is the reason we are here to shape our lives. The missionaries brought us the word of God in 2010 where they stationed at Pakuba across the Nile and they were received by Chief Omach of Paroketo and they had to use the boat for bringing the word of God and that's why we witnessed the procession the word of God is coming to us by the use of the boat on River Nile. With joy we receive the word of God.
The deacon, on behalf of the Christian community gathered here, has received the word of God. We shall now respectfully hear the word of God. First reading is from Ephesians chapter 1 verses 19 to 22. It will be taken in Lugbara. Waraga Paolo nisi ba Efezoa di nire. Madripika vini amvupikala. Emi ovuni di juruni ku. Emi ba adroni opele ini rubodi ma azi. Basi emi jo o diopini etini eto profeta pieri ma dria. Kristo ni ediafe jonde niri i. Kristo ni agu jodi etipi tualo. Vini eri fepi zozu opima orijo alari ruri i. Basi emi eribe tualo, orijo adroni o azu alenia orindisi reru. Iyo opidri di.
We stand up for the gospel. According to Luke, Jesus went out into the hills to pray and he spent the whole night in prayer to God. When they came, he summoned his disciples and he picked out twelve of them. He called them apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground where there was a large gathering of his disciples with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea and from Jerusalem and from the coastal regions of Tyre and Sidon who had come to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. People tormented by unclean spirits were also cured. And everyone in the crowd was trying to touch him because power came out of him that cured them all. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus.
respectfully we sit and listen to the homily. The Lord is good all the time. Hope he is in the Moke. Sawa Driasi. Emingoni ya. Uya nyira. Uya nyira. Ushu mabe. Wafa ibino. Yete, Yete Aduma, Yete, Amanja Yezu Christo, Amanja Yezu Christo, Your Excellency. The Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, uh, Most Reverend Luigi Bianco, Your Grace, the Archbishop of Gulu, Most Reverend John Baptist Odama, and all my brother bishops, our representative of His Excellency the President, Minister of Gender, Labor, and Social Development, Honorable Betty. Among Akena, all the ministers present, all my brother priests, the religious sisters and brothers, and all government officials, central government, district leaders, cultural leaders. all the distinguished guests and all of you my dear brothers and sisters in Christ I warmly welcome you to this celebration of my 40th anniversary in the priesthood you are all most welcome we have come to give thanks to God for the opportunity he has given me to serve as a priest. But above all, we have come to thank the Lord for the gift of priesthood. The gift of priesthood is a precious gift to humanity. Without priest our connection with God will be very limited because the role of the priest in society is to bring God to the people and the priests are to bring the people to God. Let us uh, congratulate all those who are ordained priests. We clap for them. Uh, you have seen the four of us who receive the purple blessing, but in this celebration, we are more than four who are celebrating 40 years in the priesthood. I have also with me uh, my classmates. People have been living well with from the seminary time, and we supported each other. We became priests. And two of them were my roommates. You know, if you remain together from sharing room up to today, I think it tells a lot. 
So I would like to introduce them. We have Monsignor John Baptist Sebaiga can come in front here. Yeah? He's from Kampala Archdiocese. And he's Paris Priest. You can stay, stay in front. Yeah? Paris Priest of Vice. So when you are going to Kampala, before you enter the city, you can meet him, come in front. Uh, we have also from Oima Diocese, Monsignor Joseph Birunji. This was my, cla my classmate too, but also my roommate. We used to share a lot of stories together, and we would laugh, and up to today we still share and laugh. Thank you very much for coming. Please. And another roommate of mine is Father Joseph Ranyanga from Barara, Ice Diocese. Yeah, he's serving in the Paris, and he used to teach us German. When I started to learn German, he was my teacher. So you can see we have continued to learn from each other up to today. So thank you very much. You can be seated. And if you are in our group, and maybe I have not introduced you, you can come forward. Those who are celebrating 40 years. There could be some I miss. Yeah, don't be shy. Just stand up. Say, I'm also your friend. Because <laughs> sometimes you can forget some friends. <laughs> okay, okay. And also, we are joined by many of our schoolmates eh, from the seminary. One of them is uh, Monsignor Castro Adeti, who is our vicar general. He was also my contemporary. And we have our Father Augustine Mugarura. He was also my contemporary. He's here. So if you are my contemporary in the seminary, if we played football together, you can stand up. Okay. Uh, we have also the youngest bishop in Uganda. That is Bishop Lawrence Mukasa. He's also my contemporary. So we are so blessed that he has come to be with us even when he was just ordained. Yeah? He did not give excuse that ah, I'm still settling on my chair. He said, no, I can come and be with you. You are most welcome. He's also my contemporary. If there is any other, okay, they may come later. Uh, allow me to welcome among us in a special way the Apostolic Nuncio. He is representing the Holy Father. And we in Africa we take representation seriously. And I am very humble that the nuncio has come to be with us. I'm also very humble to preside over the mass at his presence. May we give him a warm welcome among us. Thank you. And our dear father in this ecclesiastical uh, province, whom you know very well, uh, as Bishop John Baptist Odama. Thank you for coming to be with us. This is our father at home here. So whenever we have any function like this, he's always coming to be with us. I'm also humbled very much to lead the Mass in his presence. Thank you for allowing me. We have the other bishops who have come to be with us. Uh, we have the bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nebi, Bishop Raphael Pamon Wakarais, is here with us. And we have the bishop of Cotido Diocese, also with us. Bishop Dominic Eibo is here with us. And he's one of our young bishops. So these are the successors of the apostles 
together with the priests who help in this service to the church. I hope I've not forgotten another bishop. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, other bishops gave apology because of some other commitment. The Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese sent me a message that I should greet you all. So can you receive the greetings of the Archbishop? The Most Reverend Paul Semogere. I also received a message uh, uh, from the Bishop Emeritus Matthias Sekamanya asking me to greet all of you on this day. The other bishops, they send their apology jointly through the Secretary General of the Uganda Episcopal Conference, Monsignor John Baptist Kawota, who is representing all the other bishops who have not come. Monsignor, you are welcome. And we have also with us the Secretary of the Apostolic Nuncio, uh, Reverend Father George, if you are around. Yes, there he is. He's from Ghana, so you can see this celebration is very international. Yes. <laughs> I would like to, at this moment, welcome to this celebration in a very special way the representative of the president. I received a letter from the president for this occasion informing me that he's not able to come but he has delegated the Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development in the person of Honorable uh, Betty Amongi, who is here. Most welcome. Thank you for accepting to sit on the chair of the president today. Thank you very much. In you we see His Excellency with us. Thank you for accepting. And I welcome all my brother priests, all other religious leaders. We have with us also the religious sisters. We have some spirit general with us the Spirit General of the Little Sisters of Mary Maclet with us, is with us, uh, Reverend Sister Grace is there. And also the Spirit of the Missionary Sisters of Mary Mother of the Church informed me that she would be here. And all the others, if you are Spirit General, you are most welcome. Eh? And you could also stand and wave to us. Okay, we have the brothers, Marian brother, Pontius, brother Pontius. We have also uh, Reverend Father Robert Owiko. So you are all most welcome with your members. Uh, this celebration is really uniting us in many ways. We have uh, those from Guru. Where I was born and raised to become a priest. Uh, uh, thank you very much. So, those from Guru Astasis, can you rise for recognition? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we are joined also by our brothers and sisters from Navy Catholic Diocese. If you are there, you could also rise up so we can welcome you. Navy. Thank you. Thank you. I know this one Pakwash have brought for us Angara. <laughs> Thank you. We shall eat Angara today. Yes. Uh, we have also a representative from Lera Diocese. Lira Diocese. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, our chief guest, Honorable uh, Betty Among, is representing also all of them from Lira. <laughs> Thank you. We have also guests from Kampala 
and other dioceses, you are all welcome to this celebration. We thank you for sacrificing your time to be here with us. Today is a very special day. We are giving thanks to God. And for me, I would like to give thanks to God for this vocation to priesthood. I started to receive the call when I was still very young. I was just in P2. And in those days, small boys were taught to serve the mass in Latin. In Latin. So I started speaking Latin when I was very small. Because the altar boys were the ones to answer the mass on behalf of the people. And my calling started from there. Every day I would go to serve mass as a little boy. And I was already nicknamed Padre. Padre, when I was very small. Visitors coming were told not to disturb me because I was Padre. <laughs> so I grew up with this spirit until I joined the seminary at Aboke. Then Lacho, then Katigondo, where I started to meet all these people. And continued to Gaba. And after Gaba, I was ordained a priest together with my colleague who are here. We were ordained six of us, but now we remain five. One has already gone to the Lord, and that is late Father Christopher Ochan. Can we remember him at this moment? Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. We thank our bishop, late Bishop Cipriano Kiangire, who ordained as priest. He was a very loving bishop, very hardworking, disciplinary. So if you stay with him, you become a strong man. Many people fear to be near strong people, and they miss a lot. For us, we were very close to our bishop, so we persevered up to today. So we thank our late bishop, Cipriano Kiangire, for ordaining us, six of us. I would like to thank also my family, because my family supported my vocation very much. And I have some members from my family. My mother is still living. She could not come. She sends greetings to all of you. And those who have come, they can rise up so that the people can receive them. I have my sister, my brothers, my uncles. They are there. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. When you grow back, you greet mama. Say that you found me looking good. Because <laughs> mama is always worried that people are not feeding me. But I'm, I'm okay. Thank you for the OD that you have brought. I would like to thank also the priests who have helped me on the way. My first parish priest, Father Milano, the late Father Milano of Old Rosary in Gulu Town. I would like to, to 
remember also and thank the late father Anania Oriang of Lira. He was the one who taught me to serve the Latin Mass when he was a seminarian coming from Lacho to teach us at Old Rosary. I'd like to thank the late Father Joseph Bragotti who prepared me to join the seminary. I'd like to thank also Father Albertini of Laibi because when I was joining, I joined from our home Paris of Laibi. And Father Albertini prepared me for the seminary. I want to thank all those who taught me in the seminary and prepared me for priesthood, prepared all of us for priesthood. I thank also our catechists who taught us the faith. So I'm grateful to all who have contributed in one way or the other to my formation for priesthood and also my ministry for priesthood. And now, I've gone through it for 40 years of priestly life and ministry. I started from Omiya Nyima in Kirgum district. As a young priest, I was assigned to a sub-parish to prepare it to become a parish. And now it is a parish, and I know some people have come all the way from Omiya Nyima to be with us. Can you rise also to the scene? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. They are led by Honorable Christopher, who is the LC5 of Kidgum. So I was a young priest, and he was a young boy, so we used to work together with his father, who was a catechist, the late uh, Francis Obor. I also sat in the diocese as secretary of the bishop, but at the same time practicing, doing pastoral work at Christ the King Primary Teachers College and Secret Art Senior Secondary School. I'm sure some of them are. I saw those from. Are you there? Oh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I also served at Gulu Cathedral after my studies in Nairobi, where I stayed to prepare for the visit of Pope John Paul II. And at that time, I also engaged in pastoral work at St. Morris, which I started with the Christians of St. Morris. Those from St. Morris and Gulu Cathedral, are you there? Okay, thank you for coming. Then I was later appointed to the National Seminaries where I started to teach in Gaba, teaching dogmatic theology. For one year, then I was transferred to Alakolum Seminary, where I stayed for 13 years teaching, and also 11 years as director. I'm sure the staff of the National Seminaries with their students, some have come to, see, to be with us. Can we welcome them? Those from the National Seminaries. Thank you very much. They are there. Welcome, welcome. And it was from the National Seminary that the Lord gave me another ministry. The ministry of being auxiliary bishop. An auxiliary bishop is a, a priest given responsibility to help another bishop. Is not the ordinary, but a helper. So I was made auxiliary bishop of Guru, where I served and supported Archbishop John Baptist Odama for four years. Thank you very much. It was a good collaboration. And I thank him for 
the support that he gave me as auxiliary bishop. And later I was appointed to Arua as apostolic administrator and later confirmed. So I'm here. Our people of Arua, are you there? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And welcome for this celebration. We have uh, people from Moyo, Ajumani. Are you there? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we now have eight vicariates. Those from Lodonga Vicariate, are you there? Lodonga. Okay. <laughs> Those from Maracha Vicariate, are you there? <laughs> Thank you, Honorable. Those from uh, Ediofe Vicariate, are you there? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those from Vora Vicariate, are you there? Welcome. Thank you. Those from Aripea Vicariate, are you there? Aripea? Yeah. Thank you. And our diocese is blessed with a big presence of refugees. Over one million refugees. One million fifty thousand. And we have created also a vicariate for the refugees. So those from the vicariate of refugees, are you there? Okay, thank you. Well, let us welcome our brothers and sisters from South Sudan and Democratic Republic of Congo. During these 40 years of service, I can say that I experienced the love of God, the immense love of God in good times, in difficult times. I always felt the Lord is there with us. The Lord has been there with us. As he promised to be with Joshua in a difficult mission, as he was with Moses, so he has been with us, with me and my colleague. Let us thank God for being with us in this ministry. Uh, the readings that have been taken for us today on the feast of the two apostles, Simon and Jude, bring us very good news. We celebrate the feast of these apostles because we as priests, with our bishops, we are the successors of the apostles. So we heard from the gospel that the Lord Jesus, before choosing these 12 apostles, prayed overnight. And you will notice in the gospels that before Jesus undertook any important ministry, he prayed. Even before starting his public ministry, he went to the desert and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights. Then he came out to proclaim the good news. So he did the same before choosing the 12 apostles. He prayed. So this is a big lesson to us that Whatever we want to do or whatever decision we want to make must be preceded by prayer. If we could only do this, our life would change a lot. But <laughs> I've noticed we, we usually pray after we have spoiled everything. If we could pray before, we would have the guidance of God in what we want to do. So for you, let me now talk about you, the lady. 
before you enter into marriage, do you pray? Do you pray God for the kind of partner you want? Oh, you just meet someone and say, wow, I'm taking this one. Just because of she's working so nicely, but you have not prayed. You pray and let God tell you the kind of partner that could be good for you. Pray before you take any engagement. It's not only for the priests or sisters, but for all of us. Whatever we do must be preceded with prayer so that we do it with the help of God. So Jesus gives us the example, which is very clear. Learn to pray before you do anything. Ask God to guide you so that whatever you choose to do will be with the help of God. And Jesus did not only choose the twelve. He even told them what they have to do. And not only in words, but also in deeds. So he gave them the mission, the ministry, that to go and heal the sick. They have to touch the life of people. Bring God to them. So this is what he told these apostles. Of course, the apostles did their best even when Jesus left them after training them. But we also know one did not do well. And that is Judas Iscariot. This is possible in our human life. Some can fail. But we all have the possibility to succeed with the help of God. You can also ask yourself, why did Judas Iscariot fail? It may help you. When something happens, it should be a lesson also to you. Don't just say, ah, he's a bad guy, he's a bad woman. You have to see what went wrong. What I can see Judas Iscariot went wrong because of love of money. He loved money more than being an apostle. So he started doing business. And one of the worst business was he thought that even if he sold Jesus, Jesus will escape from his captors. Because already he saw before Jesus was to be captured, but he disappeared. So he expected the same. So he wanted to do business with this miracle of Jesus. But this time, it was already time for Jesus to fulfill his mission. So he allowed himself to suffer, to die, and rise for our salvation. So let us learn to pray before any engagement. And let us also be watchful. When we see somebody not doing well, we can learn from that lesson. There is the saying that wise people learn from mistake of others, but the fools they learn from their own from their own mistake. So let us be wise. God wants us to be wise, and that wisdom comes from God. So let us commit ourselves and always act with the grace of God. St. Paul in his letter to the Ephesians is giving us a message that we need very much in our world of today. St. Paul in his letter to the Ephesians 
He is telling us, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens. This is a message of unity as we are experiencing here. There is a strong sense of unity here. Let us thank God for this. Let us clap even to thank God. So as you stay with us in Arua, don't feel a stranger. You have come among your brothers and sisters. Can we from Arua clap to welcome them? God is telling us we are now members of his household. Isn't that wonderful? That we now belong to one family. The family of God. Vatican Council II came out clearly saying that the church is the family of God. So just as we feel one in our family, let us feel one also in the church. What is hurting our society is prejudice, discrimination, injustice, things which are really anti-people. They are becoming so many. We should seek to do things which bring people together according to God's will. Sometimes also people want to come together in a manner which is not God's will. Homosexuality cannot be God's will. Because God created us, man and woman, and gave us the commandment. So our coming together must also be guided by the will of God. Accepting God Loving God, accepting one another, loving one another. This is what our society needs today. That we are one. So the unity St. Paul is speaking about is so important. We are to build our life eh, on the prophets, the foundation of the prophets, foundation of the apostles, foundation of Jesus Christ who is the cornerstone of our life. When we make Jesus the cornerstone of our life nothing will go wrong. And this applies to all of us. For us the priest our life must be built on Jesus Christ. If it is built on other desires we shall not from Jesus, we shall find this work difficult. So we must build on the correct foundation given to us by Jesus and transmitted to us by the apostles. Some journalists came to me asking me, what has kept you going on all these 40 years and you still look strong? Of course, I had to say, yes, I'm still strong. <laughs> I said, love of my vocation. Love of Christ. Without which you cannot be a successful person. Love of the cross. Some people want to love only the resurrected Christ. But without the cross, is there a resurrection? You have to love the cross also. This is my symbol. I always have it in my pocket. Not this one. <laughs> I have a metal one. But it has never made a hole in my pocket. And in the night, I keep it in my hand. Sometimes... I wake up, I find it is there. Other time, I find it has fallen. And I pick it. I think when I'm sleeping, the devil comes and removes it. <laughs> because I sleep alone. 
it must be the devil. <laughs> if I were married, maybe my wife would take it away. <laughs> but I sleep alone. I find it has fallen. That must be the devil. But I try. I try. So let us all try. Focusing on what keeps us in our priesthood. And you married people, focus on what keeps you in your marriage. Focus on that. When you have chosen a partner, it's a choice for life. Do all it takes to keep you together. And see the Christ to save us. So you also carry your cross. Finally, I want to share with you what also motivates me to continue with my service. When I became priest at my ordination, I chose the text which says, I will make you fish as a man. Because I saw God calling me for the mission to bring people to God and God to the people. So that inspired me in my priesthood. Bringing people to God through the word of God, through the sacraments, also by keeping them together as one flock helped me a lot to shepherd the people of God. And when I was becoming a bishop, I had to choose another text from Ephesians, rooted in Christ's love. Because I saw, as a bishop, now I'm taking a bigger role of a shepherd, so I needed to shepherd with love. To have love, to bear everything. It's only when you have the love of Christ to bear everything that you can be a shepherd. So this text inspired me a lot. So you too look also for texts that can inspire you from the Holy Book. Texts that inspire family life, texts that inspire religious life, texts that inspire priestly life. Even for us bishops, we do the same. So I want to thank you very much for coming to celebrate with us this day. To thank God for the gift of priesthood and to thank God for the church which is for serving humanity. And here in Arua we are working together even with our fellow uh, other religious leaders. We are so united because our work is to bring people to God and God to the people. So thank you for listening. God bless you. Is that enough? Clap of hands. And now, from FM, we go to shortwave. In five or so minutes, I invite my colleague to shortwave. Yes, Nimuke. Sawadi Asi. Ayo Episcopi Ninjeri Aridini. Kina Amataru Dia Warifo Fezo Adroni. Eli Kalisu, Ina Azu Padre Azi, Padre Diri, Bae Ijizo Adrovo, Adroni Ijizo, Bae Ivo. I did episcopia e padre in Dondo Andre in a school of Lazo di Pio Waro. Instead, even a bunny or den is a padre robo ido a zingua per a child of pinguare. That a episcopi in Gia Maneri. Can a Ludia Mane and receive a mati chima in Gia Mawad for fair drone, teach him a rainy fair maneri see as Kunsi Traba, Parindon to the Maalia, Engazu Nebia, Lira, Ach. Uh, that is Guluere Maalia, Parindondo di Maalia di Pie. Kina Mawadifofe, Feta, Ernife Ini, 
in Jizori C. On Veta Idridi, ye to Mandre, the Ray Class Syria, Bariki on Ve Padere, can invasi, but the under me on Vadier and Nico. Fevina Ward Four, Musu Dile, Gametani, my representative Mati Pezorare C. Kinudu, Kalisu, can query Kalisu in as Episcopero, no Padro de Maalia, Yachi, a war on Malesi, Vinio, a Wako con Malesi, Taya Waro, no Kiwako con Malesi, Ye Tomo, Leta, a droveler, Yebe, Angri, Ekilandra, Bukwalar Nije, Adrona as Joshua Be, Vinne Mosebe, a year war on Maalia, Kina and Russia Modu Ambo, Ojeri. Simon P. Yudaberi Nji. An evangelio and Rusiamani Duru Malia. O Gio di Yes Christo Pei de Rizi. Um, inia Rabo. Ngadi Yomve. Te evangelio Malia Woro Woro Mi Nirakini. Yesu Nile Zo Azi Azo Oporu Ni Duzo. E Rizi Raka. E Rini Azi Idri. Adroni Yomve Zo. A Obi Meselea Redozo Rizi. Muroko Malia. Izi Odu Kalisu. Vini ni kalisu erinde azidi dozo bani erinde a oje yonvezo bore a esuvini eye waru di oje esuvini eye waru di ramavuti endi aziri ni fo jorindi dene kini imu amvedale yelu yoti siku vini yatasi imu be yatisi imu tiki dri vini imadria eini drazo bore si oje obiki vini isirira. Oji onga ki azimu kerote alunidera rusi yuda iskarioti i. Kini di opwa kobada nini amede endi. Te lesson kan kuimba terini amazizu diare. Kini amadi amazia sisile yuda ede andra adu sinya yezu modi adu seraraya. Isi rea ini orarea bukur madreria afa fepi depi rini ni. Rini andra sendele zo ambambari si. Rini sendele zo risi. Ega eka Yesu Kristo ni uzi, Yesu Kristo echo tali de, ekile rinyandra afizo bima esili arisi, te awe ni ide, erini lele releko. Kina andusi amezi, vini badi de baba isi, amezi ondwasi, azukonu si ondwa, enga adrovu, amani chozu, eyo kilili ridezo bene. Lata aluzo, waraga polo nisi, ba efizi wa diniri ya, andusi polo niyo njebe efizi wa diniri kini, Ama ani disar si juru ni ko Ama kari ya njini Aruwa dia Andru sikini bu muru di ini Le ama feki menaki juru ruko Asko nisi Adre chiti ya ama Bo Andru si adro ni nje amani Vini amani wa momi inuzu chi Vini yo njiri ngazo bazi di maruari Zivina amakini, edri, amadiri malia, udufu, udufu, le amandaki, le adrovlere. Fe amani cheta azikini, afadorea agupini agupidu, okuni okudu di, aani le adrovlere iku. Asukunu se adro obama, okupi agupibe. Kini afa, ame tipi, ama bapiri, amani zita le zukure. Ika lo zamba ne, sky tiba libo wame yo, wow. Ika kachupa ne wame yo, wow. Afa lersi, famili ye choni, pato, alwani ko. So Paul alare andusi nji amani, le asiki edria madriri, edia fe oji odiri maalia, edia fe profeta edri maalia, ndepi andeni ni Yesu Kristo vore. Edria madriri maalia, tetro padero, tetro aje maalia, kini le amo obike amasiri. Kini bazi, andra newsi, ndapi ni mu izi, Kini ili kalisu di malia ina ruwe pia la opopia di na adusia. Echeta idri alo, moto idri alo. Patia laza, Yesu Kristo diri machia madrini. So ajemi diri malia patia laza kamidri cheni, mia a moke. Irizu vini udu kalisu ine azu, kankweli kalisu ine azu, padero di malia. Afa ima za kopiri, inye azita sizu imadria, engazo biblia maalia. Yini fuzo padero wa zita ivuleri Iyo pemi Muzu bayi jizu Kaniku muzu bayi bezu Ibiru i Vini yini fuzo episkopi ruria Iyo ola ivuleri le masui Leta kristo vuleri maalia Zidivine amalu 
Rile padero. Lezu yo muke din le din dazo ame kazo buku alar ma alia. Vina aje amadir ma alia bene. Vame inji Jesus Christo. May I now invite us to rise up for the creed.
gathered here, dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption and the gift of the sacred priesthood. Let us therefore ask Almighty God that the whole world may be watered from these springs of all blessings and life. In this multilingual mass, we shall have a prayer of the faithful in different languages. Prayer for the church leaders in English. Let us pray for our church leaders that they may be guided, strengthened, and protected in being the voice of the voiceless, defendants of the defenseless. May their work glorify God and promote human dignity and solidarity. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Prayer for political and civil leaders in Kiswahili. Tuombe viongozi wetu wote wa kisiani katika kazi wanayofanya ili waweze kutoa huduma nzuri kwa watu wote wanaoongoza na kuheshimu kila mtu bila upaguzi kwa hivyo twaomba bwana utusikilize prayer for vocations in lubarati amezi onvetase adrovo ataza berela nyomve anze odero de Agupi vini oku ei emuzu azingazu mini ekile patriale frotolole suarile eba vini asindiza mini re bafiba atemalia di madria ife mani onveta mini onvezu efizu atemalia rima efi ma aane letasi vatasi Asianzu si vini tutasi edri evile azenirma alia beni opila. Prayer for peace, unity and love in luo. Walego wekuch ribeki ma paroba. Obed ichwin ikwa padano achel achel i odi wa ducho wa ikien luak paroba ilobokolo gunong kuch kiribe kimaman meada mari pinaka ruba winlek mewa. A prayer for refugees and migrants in Kakwa. Kimagi kulungaseri kusaseri kaya loponda ijurola kade kade itoko kaa jurunikilo. Kumunu lika lonya adulo katiu nilo kuloka doka nilo tiki karanga teri Ne ibangesi laga lomoga karanga kade kade idunia naine katani kine ma dola kinda karanga kiko laga lokelo ibo kasi karanga ijuru nyena yima guto yesu matalika. Kisa rubangadri esujo au si rubangani kisa dipiri kaba 
Kokozia Yendri ni Egwe Olude Tadurika for this I pray Lord hear us. Lord bless us. May your mercy we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry to you, so that what they seek at your prompting they may obtain by your ready generosity through Christ our Lord. We shall have the gospel of the offertory procession. Therefore, let's remain standing. Club welcoming the processors bringing the gifts to the altar of the Lord. and shall be receiving the operators should position themselves already please come forward and position yourself to give a short distance
Let us come forward to bring now our offertories to the nearest person to us. Let us all rise up. That my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, powerful and kindly, kindly ruler of days and seasons look in mercy on the ministry given me by your grace and through the power of this oblation direct the hearts of priests and people to be so disposed that the obedience of the flock may never fail the shepherd nor the care of the shepherd be lacking for the flock through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with the spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right and just. It is truly really right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your son. And so, with angels and as angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing 
the hymn of your glory. As without end, we are claimed. this time we will be kneeling down. For those who can, kneel down. For those who for space reason cannot stand with respect. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins 
Do this in memory of me. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sabino, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mass on us so all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may melt to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the words the Lord Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of Peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. We have many priests and deacons who will be serving you at the most proximal position to you. Respectfully, those Catholics who have prepared themselves spiritually will communicate from them. May I request the priests to position themselves as to serve in the shortest time possible the flock gathered here.
Choir give us a thanksgiving song. I invite us all to stand up and jubilantly sing this thanksgiving song.
of every virtue. Grant, we pray, that by participation in this mystery, I may do what is right and preach what is true, so that by my deeds and by my words I may offer to the faithful instruction in your grace, through Christ our Lord. Uh, in Arua Diocese, we have launched a program we call Local Donors Forum. We want to become our own donors in Arua Diocese. So we have two categories of local donors for our development in the diocese. The first one is by registration. So you will be introduced to those who are entering registration. If you want to be a member, you can register and contribute monthly or as you like. Second membership by giving 100 shillings. Just 100 shillings every month. Our Christian Christians are doing it, so we shall offer the opportunity for those who can do it today to give that 100 shilling. We are not asking for more, but if you have, you can also give more. So I hand you over to the team helping us in the diocese to collect this 100 shilling. May I invite the Administrative Secretary for the Local Donors Forum and the General Secretary to tell us how we are going to manage it. We are trying to limit direct presentation. Thank you very much, Lordship, the Bishop. The bishops here present, the nuncio, the archbishops here present, the representative of His Excellency. We are not going to take time here. Uh, as the bishop has already said, we are going for Jege Jege collections, and you all know what the Jege Jege is. And he said 100 shillings, and that means literally 100. But if you have more, and I know very well, many of us have more. Can we call the girls to come? 
Madam, can you call your girls? All right. Uh, His Excellency the Nocio, uh, the Archbishop, His Lordship, the Bishops present, uh, clergy, our uh, Holy Sisters, the district representatives, our MPs. Uh, praise God. Uh, we have our project called the Jege Jege Project to construct a retirement home for our priests. What will our priests really have to take home when their retirement comes? All they are asking for is a decent home they can call for themselves. As Christians, they have been there for us for a long time from birth, with baptism, as we grow to confirmation, and even when you die, they will still give us a decent send-off. But what do they ask in return? They want a place they can call home, and this is the cause for it. I would request the choir to give us a very nice song as we collect and for those who would want to pledge, we have our pledge forms with us. Thank you.
the people of God. We are now coming to the end of our Eucharistic celebration, the Mass. We, however, need to do a few things. I am aware that all of us are eager to know our guests, much as the Bishop of Arua Diocese did already introduce some, but also some were not yet here when the introduction was being made. Therefore, we would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you important guests we have amidst us. We shall take cognizance of the fact that in such a huge gathering, we may not succeed to introduce everyone individually. And therefore, in the interest of time, allow me to begin by introducing majorly in groups. And please, when you are being introduced, you are asked to stand up, waste no minutes. First and foremost, I would like to introduce to the congregation the, Mary, the little sisters of Mary Immaculate of Gulu. Please, could you rise up and wave to the people? Thank you very much. I have not wasted a minute. Sisters of Mary, Mother of the Church, Lira. Rise up and wave to the people. Those are Assyrians. We have the Sacred Heart of Jesus Sisters Moyo. Please rise up and wave to the people. We have the Komboni Missionary Sisters. Those who brought us the faith, please Kindly rise up and wave to the people if you're there. We know them. They brought us the faith. We have the sisters of Otumbari in the interest of time. Please rise up and wave to the people. I seem to have seen also the Benedictine sisters the enclosure in Arua, please wave to the people and their candidates in the formation. We have also the daughters of the Holy Spirit, Lord Donga, rise up and wave to the people. They are not very old here in Arua Diocese and they are most welcome. They are doing a very commendable job, especially amongst the refugees. We have the Marian brothers. They are very much in plenty around here. Rise up and wave to the people. And there is their superior general with them. You are most welcome. Again, as I said earlier on, in the interest of time, I would like to group the priests. I begin with the diocese in the ecclesiastical, ecclesiastical province of Gulu. I begin with Gulu Archdiocese priests. Please rise up and wave to the congregation. You can see that number. You can see that their number tells us volumes. Let me go to 
the diocese of Lira, the priests of the diocese of Lira, if you run, please rise up and wave to the people. You know, today is a Saturday and tomorrow is a Sunday. So the priests are conscious of their ministry on Sundays. Then we come near here, the diocese of Nebi, the priests from the diocese of Nebi, Catholic, please rise up and wave to the people. You're most welcome. And finally, all of us who work in Arua Diocese, my dear brother priest, can we rise up and wave to the people? Let me now put together all the priests who are not from any of the four dioceses, be it from other dioceses in Uganda or otherwise. Could you all rise up and wave to the people? Okay. I have been reminded and it, as it is expected in such an occasion, I expected registration with me. Some did regis register, some did not. Now they have registered, I'm therefore much obliged to introduce them. Medical sisters, medical mission sisters, serving the refugees, rise up for recognition recog recog and wave to the people. Missionary sisters of Our Lady of Africa, serving also the refugees, rise up and wave to the people. Then we have the SDV, SVD, Missionary Servants of the Divine Word. Please rise up and wave to the people. You are most welcome for this jubilant celebration. I'm now getting where the water is deeper and therefore walking in it is equally getting more difficult. We have with us the bishops We have the Bishop of Cotido Diocese, His Lordship Dominic Ebo. Could you rise up and wave the people? You are most welcome to the Diocese of Arua. And next to him is the Bishop of Nebi Catholic Diocese, the Right Reverend Raphael. Wakorach Pumon. In 10 years' time, together with him, we shall be celebrating also our 40 years in the priesthood. <laughs> Let me go to the other extreme end on my left. It gives me great uh, pleasure, my dear uh, Christians, that when you see us priests serving you, some of these men made us so. That was my lecturer during my theologicum and is now the Bishop of Casana Luero Diocese, Right, Rever right Reverend Bishop Lawrence Mukasa. I can afford to testify that he is a teacher for a teacher per excellence. I am the witness to that. <laughs> and now we have our grandfather. Our bishop told us, but I don't know whether you don't know that we have a grandfather. 
who is always imparting his blessing on us and praying for us. None other than his grace, the Archbishop John Baptist Odama, the Archbishop of Golo Archdiocese. You're most welcome. Now, I would like to introduce the next one to people who are not from this diocese. Because I don't want to waste my time introducing uh, people who are known to us already. I'm only introducing him to people who do not know him. And that is none other than Right Reverend Dr. Sabino Ochan Odoki, the Bishop of Arua. Catholic Diocese. Allow me invite him together with his uh, brothers with whom they are celebrating their day to come forward here for one minute. Again, one who taught me logic. Logic is one of the disciplines of philosophy. Reverend Father Matthew Ocon Lagoro. <laughs> Reverend Father Matthew Ojara. <laughs> Reverend Father Emmanuel Ocot. And the, and the roommates, I tell you, I feel it because I had the roommates and I feel it. And the bishop must be feeling it. May all the roommates also come here. And you know people who have struggled together to become men of God to serve us. These are the men who have gathered us here today. The Bible is abundantly clear. One day in the house of the Lord is equal to a thousand elsewhere. But these men are not one day in the house of the Lord. They are 40 years in the house of the Lord. Let us clap for them. I want to thank you very much and I will always be praying for you that God should continue to give you the graces to continue serving us. Thank you very much, men of God. We have our bishops from the Anglican Church we have the Bishop of Mary and West Nile Diocese, right, Reverend Collins, please rise up and wave to the people. I want to do justice. May you rise up and introduce yourself to this congregation. I greet you all the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I am called Reverend Fenahas Onwang, a great friend of this diocese. How for you? You are most welcome. How for you, Bina Megi? We must recognize and appreciate, and that is it. What should be recognized and appreciated? The chief guest is our honorable minister. How can she not be introduced? You advise me. <laughs> and when it goes to political line, I am apolitical. And therefore, I'm going to invite one with whom I'm very familiar, honorable minister 
Obega Kanya to do that job for us. But I'm aware that you have your political figures. I'm seeing many MPC here, LC5 mayor here. It is not time for campaign. It's not time for politics. Just introduce them. I've said, just introduce them. Honorable Obega Kanya, you are most welcome. For your information, it was my Christian when I was uh, a curate in Ottombari Parish. Thank you, MC. Our chief guest who represents the president, the Honorable Betty Amongi, otherwise substantively the Minister of uh, gender, Labour and Social Development, Your Excellency the Popo Pronuncio, Archbishop John Baptist Odama, the Archbishop of uh, Gulu Diocese, the Gulu Archdiocese, the Right Honorable Sabino Odoki, Ochan, our host, the, your brothers, the bishops, the priests. Now you can see how long the list is. I will stop there. <laughs> and say all the religious and all the political and the people who are all here. It's a very simple function. I'm supposed to introduce the chief guest, but the chief guest does not come alone. So I would kindly request the MPs to quickly come out there. I will mention your names or do something very quickly. The sitting MPs, so that people can see you. And remember, you're not supposed to say anything <laughs> come out there so that people can see you for the time being i want the mps first these are the people who make the laws which sometimes affect you So I want you to see them properly. And since they are all young men and women who can talk for themselves, I'm going to just ask you mention your name, the constituency you represent, and the district you come from. Now, the words of congratulations, those are mine. I will come and say them later. <laughs> so, I will start with the ladies. Thank you. The Lord is good. And all the time. Wow. I'm an old Betty Ochan, member of parliament. They always say, woman member of parliament. Gulu City. I love you. Thank you. The Lord is good. And all the time. My name is Avur Jen Pachuto. I am the woman member of parliament for Pakwach District. That beautiful gateway to West Nile. I greet you all in your respective capacities. Dr. Boka Didi George is my name. Member of Parliament, Obongi constituency, Obongi district. Thank you. Thank you very much. We want to thank God for this great day. Akumu Catherine Mavenjina, Member of Parliament, 
representing all of you because I'm in charge of all the persons northern Uganda, which goes up to West Nile, Lango, Asholi, and Karamoja. And so you are all in my constituency. Thank you very much. Praise God. My name is Lema Tia Rutu Moli Ondoro. I represent the people of Maratha East constituency. That is in Maratha. The Lord is good and all the time. John Lematia is my name. Where we are right now celebrating, I'm the RMP of this area. I thank you. I respect the protocol. I'm called Onzima Godfrey. I represent the people of Waringa North County from Yumbe District. God is good all the time. My name is Paparu Lilian Obiale, woman member of parliament, Arua District. The Lord is good and all the time. My name is Alioni Odria, member of parliament, Aringa South, Yumbe District. Thank you. And finally, all protocols observed. I am called Alerutom Aza, Member of Parliament for Westmore County, Proprietor, Director Nile High School, Sarua, Chairman, Madi Parliamentary Forum, and once upon a time from the seminary. Thank you very much. Now, you can sit down. <laughs> but as they go to sit down, you can see how disciplined these uh, MPC are. And they just followed them, what I, what I told them. They are not very bad people. My name is Obega Kania. I'm a member of parliament for Telego East constituency. Very good. Okay. Very good. And the Minister of State for Urban Development, by the grace of God and the pleasure of His Excellency, the president. Now, I would like to introduce uh, right on of right, uh, your lordship, your chief guest, to you for the time being, just for introduction, so that people see her. She will talk later. I know you are sitting very presidential, but kindly <laughs> come here. So that they can they can see you, uh, uh. you know it's not easy. She's now actually she's wishing that next time the president does not come. That is uh, the honourable minister Beta Amongi. Minister of Gender, Labor, and Social Development for today, who is representing His Excellency the President here with all the powers to say what the President would say here. So, you can take your seat. Uh, next time, we will call you to talk. There are Two other MPs, but they referred to as a former. And they don't need to come here. You stand up since you're former. You stand somewhere, they see you. Uh huh. There's a. No, you stand one by one so that there's Honorable Bernard Atiku, former MP for Ivo. There is a. 
You sit down. There is a honorable Babadiri. One of the people from West Nile who has been the longest in that parliament for over 25 years. But I think you deserve to come here and they see you. Okay. Uh, she was a member of parliament for persons with disability at one time. Another time she became a member of parliament for Koboko. She is now retired for the time being but not tired and waiting. <laughs> then we have uh, the Honorable Moses Angundru from Terego West who represented Terego West for one term yes he is the one <laughs> so thank you very much i think i finished my work mc and uh, but before i sit down i don't want to come back you have a seat mc On my own behalf, on the behalf of all these members of parliament, we want to congratulate you. We really want to congratulate you from the, our hearts. You have been a good shepherd, not only for the Catholics, not only for the Christians, but for everybody. And we thank you. When I was down there, I was asking one of the MPs, what does the name Ochan or Doki means? It translated something similar to related to poverty has come or something like that. I don't know. Huh? Yes. Chandia. He was born when somebody had died. But I can assure you, Chief Guest, when this bishop has been here, for the short time she has been here, she really has given hope to people. And all these priests you see, under his instructions, they preach the word of God for 30 minutes, but they take 10 minutes to preach about the word of eliminating poverty. So they are ministering both the body and the soul. And that's why we are congratulating them. And in your wisdom, at the appropriate time, if and when they need support of one form or another. I think you, the president. So you say, God do what you want. Amen. Uh, I just want to concur with the Honorable Kanya Obiga Mario that uh, really, I'm not talking for other days, but today, really, our MPs have been disciplined. And I congratulate all of them for being disciplined. 
But I'm aware of the difficult position in which I am. You know, I'm one of those who lives in the city. And if my mayor is not introduced, now you tell me another city in which I should go and live. <laughs> it is right and fitting that you permit me I use my prerogative. You are calling me MC. I'm above MC. I'm director of ceremonies, not master of ceremonies. <laughs> Let me invite the city mayor and all LC5 chairpersons who may be here to rise up and wave to a congregation. Horrible mayor. I'm aware the rightful time is coming where you will talk to your people. We haven't concluded our liturgy. I purposely left one job undone because I couldn't do that myself. And that is introducing to us the Papa Legate to Uganda, the Apostolic Nusio. It's therefore my singular honor to invite His Grace, the Archbishop of Golo Archdiocese and Overseer of the Golo Province Metropolitan to humbly come and do the job. Your Grace, you're most welcome. It is not easy to introduce the Pope in my status, but I take it a privilege. First, his title. Some people may call him Pronuncio. There is no more Pronuncio now in Uganda. We have only Nuncio, but there is the other title added, Apostolic Nuncio. So he stands directly on behalf of the Pope in the country where he is delegated or appointed by the Pope. By names, he is called Luigi, Luigi Bianco. Here is the Apostolic Nuncio of Pope Francis to Uganda. <laughs> you have seen him already many times. So I'm only just reminding those who may have forgotten him or who are still to know him. I've done my work. Thank you. If it was difficult for the Archbishop, then you can now see how much more difficult it was for me to do it. Let me take this opportunity now to invite the Master of Ceremonies who is going to lead us after this first of this celebration to come and give sense of direction to the congregation and audience so that the Mass is concluded by the blessings and then you allow us to go and invest and we begin phase two thereafter. Wherever you are, there he is. Thank you so much. Uh, in the interest of not missing titles, Father Picho, for all that illustrious introductions that you have done. Can we appreciate him for this wonderful work? I know you are very particular about your academic achievements. If we begin mentioning them now, the afternoon will not be enough. So we call you Father Picho. Thank you. Um, guest of honor, 
none other than uh, Bishop Sabino Ochan Oki, also a doctor, whom we are celebrating today together with your colleagues and all the other protocols observed in the interest of time. Members, join me in appreciating uh, the clergy for the first part of, of the celebrations of this day. Can we clap to God for this? Uh, well aware of what has transpired, according to our program, we shall go for photography and change of vestments, but as the clergy moves out from here, we have an item of tree planting, which they will do as they go for change of vestments. And as that is done, we shall then have uh, the anthem, and then the East African anthem and Lubarakari in that order. That will be as we come into the second part of the celebration. Then we shall have a welcome song, and this I request all the other items of interlude to be availed to us. We also have um, uh, the team from Ajumani that will come and do for us a poem that is specifically for the bishop. And then um, we'll have cutting of the cake. Then the other interludes continue. We'll have a special slot for presentation of gifts. Within that time, we shall also call for more interlude. And as these are done, we'll then go for speeches. And the first item on the speech is presented by the LC1 chairperson of Cathedral Cell, who will then welcome the mayor of Ive Division. And the mayor of Ive Division will welcome the city mayor of Arua City, who will then welcome the MP Ive West, in whose constituency we are seated. And after those set of speeches, we will then have the representative of the laity, Stroke Lay Apostolate, who will then come and make remarks and invite the Vicar General, who will then invite the Archbishop John Baptist Odama, who will make the remarks and later on invite the Apostolic Nuncio to also make his remark. And there we shall have a small interview that will be by Oboy Simple Man, who has a special song, a special tribute for our bishop. And then that song will ask in the bishop, who is our main celebrant today, to come and greet us and have his remarks. And there we shall also have another interlude of a poem by Brother Natoli. And then we'll ask. Uh, Honorable Minister Obiga Mario Kania to come and invite our chief guest to come and address the gathering. Our chief guest is none other than Honorable Betty Among, Among Akena, who is the Minister of Gender, Labor, and Social Development. And there she will also perform the task of launching the Jege Jege project, which is a project for constructing uh, a home for the elderly or retired priests of Arua Diocese. But as we do that, then we shall break for lunch, and then the rest of the other interludes continue. But before we break off here, allow us to um, recognize a few of the dignitaries who were not recognized in that order, I will then ask uh, our sister, Sarah Onyiru, to come in. Thank you very much, Simon Avutia. And I want to join him also to thank what God has done on this day. First of all, God has given us a good day. Let us join together and celebrate God for what he has done to give us a good day. Secondly, I want to appreciate you, Lord Bishop Sabino Chan Odoki, for the homely you delivered. You have drawn us closer to God. We appreciate you. So, I would like to recognize a few dignitaries in addition to those who have been recognized. 
And uh, in addition, I'd like to recognize Professor Peter Lating, who is an engineer with Makere University, Kampala. Please stand up for recognition. Thank you very much. Allow me to recognize Brigadier General Francis Achora, Regional Commander Operation Wealth Creation, Acholi Subregion. Thank you very much, Brigadier General. Allow me to introduce Engineer Johnson Amayo, who is the Deputy Managing Director, National Water and Sewage Corporation. Thank you. Allow me to introduce Professor Anguma Simon Katrini, the Vice Chancellor, Muni University. Professor, thank you. Allow me to recognize Mr. Obini Michael Thompson, SSP, DPC, the District Prisons Commander. Arua, you're most welcome. Thank you very much. Can continue the recognition. Uh, members, allow me to recognize Mr. Kotoma Isaac, this is the retired head teacher of Arua Public Primary School. Mr. Asega Philip Bosco, he's the auditor of the NAD Secretariat in Kampala. These are sons, gallant sons of the region. Thank you very much. Allow me to recognize MS. Et Ms. Otomaru Nathalie, Commissioner, Electoral Commission of Uganda. Thank you very much for joining this celebration. Allow me to recognize Dr. Tom Aliti Angutu, Commissioner, Minister of Health, Kampala. He's also a member of the protocol team. Thank you for being very humble, Dr. Tom. Allow me to recognize Mr. Letty Bernard, who is the branch manager, Centenary Bank. This is a special recognition because Centenary Bank made a huge contribution to this function to enable us sit today the way we are. And we thank you very much for being with us. So without we can stop there for a while and allow the clergy Maybe before they move, allow me to recognize Miss Annabel Oguang. This is the Chief Executive Officer. We know it as CEO Centenary Fellowship, Centenary Foundation. Thank you very much. So I'll ask the choir to lead us in a very angelic song that will usher the clergy just to walk out as they go to change the vestments. We shall have a final blessing and then like the procession ushered us in it will usher us out. But recognition is to be continued. I take this opportunity to invite us all to rise up and receive the blessing from our main celebrant. Thank you very much. I invite all our bishops to come forward and we bless this august congregation. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, mass is ended.
my, my family. That's my mother. Nobody should move out. Our class is only going to change vestments and coming back. We still have a whole lot of activities here. Nobody should move anywhere. The last part of this program is when the chairman sent organizing committee bids farewell to us together with the chairperson reception. But that cannot come right now. We are still in the middle. The clergy are only going to change vestments and coming back. As the clergy go and change vestments, we shall also change the city arrangements in the VIP and VVIP, as well as the clergy area, whereby the sitting has to change into the second uh, part of the celebration. I think I'll depart to Commissioner Maliari, Padreaki Mubisho Pieroro Mu, Bongo Misa Vurikoza, Ikidrigo, Amani Fizu, Esele Rizur Maliani Beni. Pazima Mangwazaku, or Fuck.